Hello guys and welcome to a new video about Future DJ Pro. So uh, today we're gonna talk a bit about uh, karaoke features. So as you know, Future DJ Pro is uh, usually used as a DJ software, but it can also be used quite successfully, I may add, uh, as a karaoke software. So um, what is the most important uh, thing um, when, you, when you host a karaoke? Uh, well, obviously you would need um, songs, lots of karaoke songs, and you can you can bring your own basically. Or if you are already subscribed to Party Time Karaoke, you can use their pretty extensive catalog. So they have over twenty thousand tracks so far, and they they keep adding new tracks uh, every month. So the second thing is singers will want to sing, right? So they will request some tracks. And for that, we have a special new feature. It's called uh, the singers uh, list, which is right here. So you can toggle between the playlist and the, the actual uh, uh, karaoke singers list. So um, what we have here is basically a list of the singers. So in this case, we have John, who obviously is going to sing first. Then we have Jane, then we have Singer Free. Each of these singers have their own tracks that they requested. Um, and they also might have like special requests. So for example, John wants to sing uh, Dancing Queen by ABBA. And um, obviously he needs, uh, he wants um, a higher, higher pitch. So he wants a plus one. So the idea is um, when a user comes, to the to the KJ to the DJ booth and uh, uh, he or she requests a, a, a track um, and you you just go ahead and use the search feature and you you maybe you you find the track and you kind of like just drag and drop it and put it to that singer. Let's say John wanted to sing uh, New York, New York. Okay, and um, you can you can set uh, minus one, let's say plus one. For the key. Hit, you hit OK. And there you have it. So now John has in his request um, also uh, New York, New York. So when a singer is ready to sing, you just hit the load singer button and it will, it will automatically load that track in the left deck. So basically in deck A, it will start playing automatically. So let's, uh, let's see how that goes. Well, obviously, we cannot play this song, which is very popular for too long, because otherwise uh, YouTube will... Uh... But you get the idea. So let's say the, the, singer pro uh, the song progresses uh, all the way through, okay, and it reaches the very end, and then... So in the kar karaoke singers list, you can actually see um, that John is currently performing, okay? And let's say that Jane comes next and let's say that, uh, I don't know, uh, John has finished his song. So we do again load singer. And when we do that, you will see that John is basically placed at the end, at the very end of the list. And now Jane comes up. So let's try it. So there you go. So you see, uh, now Jane is, is on the top. Um, and uh, uh, John is at, um, is at the bottom of the list. And uh, as you can see, um, also uh, his previous song was also removed from here. So uh, he stayed in the, um, in the singers list, which is, which is basically a round robin type of, uh, of list. So, so basically uh, now it's Jane, then comes uh, uh, singer free, then uh, uh, John again, then Jane again, and, and so on and so forth. Okay, and if you add, if you add, let's say another singer uh, comes and wants to sing, maybe I don't know Taylor Swift, and you drag and drop, and you say I don't know, this is like a let's say this is Mike, and Mike wants to sing Taylor Swift, and it's is placed at the end of the list. And if another person comes in, 
let's say maybe Paula comes in and she also wants the same sort of thing and you see and uh, this way you can build up the list and um, also something um, pretty pretty interesting if you want to if you want to you can actually so while the tracks are paused you can actually uh, if you go to karaoke you can enable the next singer list uh, screen sorry and you can see that directly on the screen here on the top you see so you have next singer and it lists all the singers so so basically in between in between um, the songs so whenever there's there's no singer on the on the stage singing um, the people in the audience can actually see uh, which one is next and what they'll they're gonna sing um, you also have the possibility if you if you don't like this this kind of screen you can also have the possibility to to have a um, um, a scrolling text, a, a ticker, how it's called, and um, uh, you can enable that as well. And I'll, I'll just uh... so if we have the ticker, the scrolling text enabled, um, you will see on the bottom of the screen a scrolling text which uh, basically uh, outputs the exact same info as the uh, the screen as the information above, and you can. You can uh, uh, set it off. Maybe I don't know. Maybe you want to uh, to see the, the the shaders, the animations, uh, which of course you can also uh, you can also change to lots of uh, funny things and lots of uh, very interesting stuff and uh, so on and so forth. And you you can just uh, leave it blank. So uh, it's it's up to you. Basically, you can you can put whatever in here. You can also place uh, maybe images. So for example, I have a logo here on the right, um, but you can place maybe your uh, your karaoke venue name or your your karaoke bar and whatever you you, you feel like it's uh, it's interesting for the for the users. Um, also, you can uh, you can set the different color um, for this uh, for this particular uh, scrolling text. So if you don't like white you can set whatever you you like okay so um let's go back to to our uh, our singer list here and um uh, as you can see um we have we have like five singers so far uh so far and um uh, you can also load uh whenever you want you can load singer also um you have like basic functionality like for example you can change the order of the singers. I don't know. Let's say singer free. Uh, I don't know. It's maybe he wants to go or something. So you can you can remove him. Just press on the X, and it says no songs. And then if you press again, we remove it. Okay. And now John is uh, is our first singer. Um, also, we can uh, we can modify the the order. So let's say Paul wants to. To sing first, so we just bump her up, okay. And now she's on the top of the list. So um, this is very helpful. So this uh, this karaoke singer list is is very helpful for you because um, uh, first of all, everything is transparent. So the users, the actual uh, the, the patrons, the the public in the venue can clearly see. Uh, whichever is coming up uh, and what's gonna sing and uh, nobody can skip anybody of course unless you want to <laughs> and um, uh, and this this brings a lot of uh, a lot of simpli simplicity if you want and a lot of transparency for the for the customers um, also it's very easy for you uh, as a KJ as a DJ to have uh, this list because you you no longer have to have like a pen and paper to write things down and then you kind of like forget which one was which and uh, which is next and so on and so forth. There is also another another feature which we're going to talk in a different video though, uh, which is called uh, KSR, which uh, stands for Karaoke Singers Requests, which is a, an online system um, which allows um, your uh, your singers to, to do the requests um, using their, their mobile phone. So uh, uh, Basically, this list will be populated automatically. The users will uh, use their uh, 
um, their phone and uh, browse your catalog and then simply uh, say what they want and it will come up here and you'll be able to approve or, or deny that request and so on and so forth. But again, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. So we're, we're going to talk about this in a different video. So anyway, um, this is the, um, the karaoke singers list. Again, you access it from, from here. Okay. You toggle the, the, the playlist between the, the karaoke list and your regular, um, your regular playlist. Um, and this is again something which is very helpful if you want to host uh, karaoke shows. Uh, that's uh, that's about it. And uh, again, see you next time. Bye.